everybody, and welcome to the Rebel News Daily Live Stream, which airs weekdays at 12 p.m. Eastern Time on YouTube, Rumble, Odyssey, Getter. I think that's it. I think that's it. Uh, yeah. Today, is we're joined by the beautiful Alexa Lavoie and Catherine Krasnowski, my co-host on Misunderstood. How are you all doing, ladies? I'm good. That's simple, also short good. and sweet. Also very good. <laughs> I love it. I, I don't know what to say more. It's just yeah. like, yeah, I'm good. It's getting cold. I'm sad, and uh, this is not true. <laughs> Climate change is not, <laughs> it's not true. It's so, it's so yeah. cold. Guys, it's, it's time actually to sell so all cold. Property, oh, yes, the sea levels are rising. You have to sell the beach house. So today we have a jam-packed show. Should we just jump right into it then, y'all? What are we thinking? Let's jump into it. All right. Did you already tell them to send their chats? Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. Tell Guys, them to send their chats. Please send in your chats wherever you're streaming. And if you send in $100, <laughs> Alexa Lavoie will eat a bug. She has it ready on hand uh, at a moment's notice. Show so us, Alexa. Please show us your bug. I, I don't. I, I really don't want to eat that seriously. But you know. seriously, I think that's worth like, more than $100. You know, last week. You can't eat that. No, no. No, that's a thousand dollars. No, that's there's no that's way. Ten thousand dollars. <laughs> Last week, someone sent like in ninety nine dollars, and it's they were just, like, "Please uh, do not eat a bug." Okay, <laughs> that's really nice. So there are people out there that really care about you. But yeah. anyway, please send in your chats, y'all, and uh, we can't wait to read them throughout the show. We want to hear from you guys. And that's the best part of the show. It's so fun, and your generous donations help keep the lights on. Look how good we look because of the lights. <laughs> <laughs> you should see us without them. I don't have the light, me. That's well, you just look unfair. beautiful, anyways. Yeah, you're just a ten out. Get out of here. Um, and you have to be a 10 out of 10 because apparently Canadians choose their least favorite province and it's your province <laughs> <laughs> of Quebec. Actually, I, I would say I'm not really surprised because recently with like what happened with uh, the pandemic and uh, all the restriction and people were seeing like the police enforcement mm -hmm. and as well like with all the restrictive law as uh, the law 21 for the religious sign and afterwards it would be like the law uh, 96 uh, uh, for the English speaker and actually the project of law 21 is another one it's for exploration and extraction of our fossil fuel it's like our province is getting way more restrictive and I think other provinces see our uh, Quebec as a threat for their own province, like that they are probably scared than their um, premier copy a little bit like uh, our premier here and like impose maybe like the same kind of restriction. So I'm not blaming nobody to choose Quebec as the worst one. I uh, will have probably <laughs> vote the same. Can you explain what Law 96 is just for people? Because I know generally. Yeah it's going to punish English speakers in Quebec. Yeah. Is that correct? Can, so, can you elaborate? Because in the past, we had already the law 101 that is actually on the French language uh, who say that you sh if you have a business, you're, you need to uh, show everything in French. So you, you're writing everything, your name should be in French. Um, that it, It's just the protection of the French language, but the reform of the law 101 called the bill 96 but that bring um to discriminate the minorities uh same if mr Legault say oh yeah but you will receive the service in in uh, in english but all the paperwork that you will receive if you go to the doctor the doctor will give you the prescription in french or the paperwork in french and if you want it in english you will need to pay someone to uh, translate the paper as mm -hmm. the same for the legal issue uh, and everything so every kind of business now need to have every um, contract or our paperwork would need to be in French so imagine all the big company multinational other like company wants to try or other province wants to do affair with Quebec but they will need to pay their own translator to have their paper in their own language because here uh, the company will only be able to pro like to give the French uh, paperwork. So mm -hmm. I think this is actually a really not good. Uh, th that would create a big impact on 
on Quebec, especially for the business and uh, our probably economy, but as well for the mi minorities as uh, Anglophone, Allophone and native because the native uh, speak their own language. So mm -hmm. some people say that should we um, not include the native on that law? Should we like exempt them? But in the same time, well, we should ex exempt like Anglophone and Allophone because they represent a minority as well. So yeah, it's kind of really um, a difficult topic because a lots of people are afraid that we lose our French. But in the same time, we will not lose our French. Like yeah, we all speak French. French. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's a lot of people speak French. Yeah, there. <laughs> I think yeah. I take issue with it because Canada is like an English nation. That's our first well, language. I mean, we have French on all of our forms like right any it's it's you a law both. yeah exactly everything in the store every government document has both french and english every sign that you read has yeah. french and english so why should quebec not have english that relief and for french. anglophones yeah yeah i feel yeah. attacked but i feel mm -hmm. personally victimized mm -hmm. by Legault. and i i oh well, you should because <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> it's, it's the election now and uh, it's it's actually getting crazy um this is actually the next topic uh, i wanted to talk because now uh they say that politicians receive threat of uh death and uh, they try to like they increase the security. They give like bulletproof uh, shirts for uh, the leader to wow. try, um, and and especially like they actually blame the conservative party to um, lift like this kind of anger uh, on the society just because uh, it represents probably a part of the population that was not heard during the pandemic, who was discriminated, uh, pushed away. Um, they, a lot of them lost their job. Mm -hmm. uh, they were banned to enter to so many places, uh, uh, banned to, to just like going to Walmart and buying some alcohol. Um, so we know that it was a tool for the government to, yeah. to use, but it just, because the conservative party, most of the people who are supporting them, it's mostly people who did live so many discrimination and so many uh, ditch distress uh, during the last past two years. And now I, the media use that, our other party, lots of other parties use that against the conservative party, saying like it's because of their party, uh, because he's not careful with his word, like I'm talking about Duham and saying like he should be careful of how he talk to his supporter. He doesn't really know like of who he's talking to. Like if like the supporter of Eric Duham is like way more dangerous than the normal people who vote, this is actually like getting too far. We see it during the election and we see it again. It's 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 polarization mm -hmm. of now the the people will vote like if the the people who vote for the conservative party it's just like a gang of weirdos uh aggressive and dangerous this is this is actually the worst province that discriminate their own people and afterwards they say oh you have so much anger in, in this population now, now it's not coming from like eric Jean. it's coming from everywhere Politician, uh, media, um, no, no, Alexis, it's just climate change. And you know what? One of the the candidate of the conservatives say out loud during one of his speech that media that we pay with our tax mm -hmm. uh, did create this kind of polarization of because they were mm -hmm. not telling the truth. Yeah, it was like a all whole marketing campaign, frankly, throughout the pandemic. Yeah, well, it's no what? different from what Trudeau literally said, was it this week or last week, that people's anger towards politicians is just because of their anxiety over climate change. It's like, that's really convenient. Yeah. It's exactly the same thing. It's like, People are angry at politicians because of all the things Alexa just said. They were kicked out of their pla like places in society. They lost their jobs. They family parties were broken up. People were ticketed just coming back to their home country, weren't able to freely travel. But no, it's anxiety over yeah. the no. weather. Perhaps it's anxiety so <laughs> over inflation. I don't know. Mm. Maybe, maybe no, people but... are a little bit peeved about the cost of living, Trudeau. I don't know. 
So the media didn't say that us because of what happened to them like during the two year of pandemic. No, they say we see a high level of radicalization <laughs> and fascism mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the population. And they say that we see like a wave of Trumpist like mm -hmm. movement yeah. coming Blame from, yeah. from a social media, but never they say, oh, it's be maybe because uh, these people uh, were pushed out to live their their life. Um, they were on pause on, during two years and not even being capable to go back to work because everybody was looking at them as um, disgusting and terrible people because they make the choice for their own medical choice. Mm -hmm. um, no, they never bring that on the road, but they keep pushing, saying that, People like or who are doing that are radical. Um, they are extreme uh, uh, right wings, racist, and uh, almost. And mm -hmm. I'm just like seriously. When the candidates say that, oh, um, a big part of the responsibility is probably the media. And after that, they attack Eric Duhem for what the candidates say. Well, Eric say, but I'm not taking his word. Like I'm not endorsing his word like it's his own word me i know that like of course eric jem would not say yeah it's your fault because he was part of the media before and uh, you know that he was a radio columnist it was uh really a long time like a radio tv uh everywhere uh he did like to do some politics and uh, other job uh outside like in morocco and other place like that uh, for um um, I know that he's really involved in politics and everything, but the fact that every single thing that the candidate of conservatives do, they are going and pick um, yeah. uh, Eric Duhem, and they are trying to say, oh, because Maxim Bernie now is endorsing like Eric Duhem, oh my God, like uh, terrible thing, or like Pierre Poliev, it's like a little bit similar, uh, but Eric Jam, like extremists, uh, ex, uh, right wings, uh, and li liberty, and uh, I'm just like, well, freedom is oh, the new F word. Haven't <laughs> you heard? <laughs> it's like an am an am amalgamy, like a, like an amalgam Omega? of like oh amalgamation, of, yeah, uh, yeah. So they bring like so many different stuff that is not related and you just put like all yeah. together and say like, this is yep. because of that. And, and they gaslight us into thinking that that's actually the way and that's actually how these people are. And that's what has, you know, inspired such polarization in our yep. society. And it's, it's, it's so evil and it's unfortunate that we're letting the government and the media do this to us to create this divide because together like as a as people as a community we have the power to push back against these horrible propagate like mm -hmm. you know propaganda plans and yep. stuff so it's i don't know stronger it's, together guys yeah, it's what so, happened to that it's so unfortunate uh, remember that and hopefully we'll start to see more people come together in the coming years as our government says even crazier things like the reason you're mad is because of climate change like oh yeah yeah hopefully people can just start to see through that yeah i, I would just say like uh, uh, this would finish like the quebec like um quebec sec Oh, yeah, but <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Lego went to uh, a small Putin like mm, uh, place, so um, it was there with a, with a lot of media. And most of the time, it's mostly media mm. and security, and really a few supporters because. But a woman were, were there, and the media was actually filming, and you were able to see Lego on the on the background, and the woman say, you know. I'm a woman on Vax, and this fall I will have less right than the rest of the people. And Mr. Lego turn around and say, "You are telling own story." And I was like, "This is just actually say that yes, it's right. It, it yeah, will like the right it... from from people before. If this is old story, oh yeah, but you, so you actually endorsing yeah, you what admit you just that. did. Yeah, but yeah." It's just cool. sad because like the video is like from the mainstream media, so I cannot like really send it. Maybe I would try, but it's all in French, so nobody will understand. But it's just 
it just really that just see like all kind of people all kind of person he is like mr lego like being like just looking at this woman instead of saying i'm so sorry like mm-hmm. for like the two years that you you just passed through i know it was it, this was difficult you just tell like old story like no not no even compassion. being like compassion no with like either. the fact yeah yeah the, it, I find that actually represent who he is. Yeah, at least he's showing his true Yeah, exactly. Though. That's like a glimpse into who he actually yeah, is. It's refreshing of- when these people tell us who they are. And yeah. it's important for people to listen when people tell yes. you who they are, you mm-hmm. know? Don't elect these yeah. people. But mm-hmm. the fact is, like, you know, he, he, he refused to debate in, in English. He actually um, refused to go to the debate for the uh, young people. Hmm. with the other uh, leader the leader when but not him is not showing up for most of the time like for like where he need to be like especially because two people die in the same day i think in montreal by shooting never hmm. went out to say like i'm sorry for the loss on it he never show up we didn't hear from him and so a lot of people think that is they try to hide him because he's losing point he's losing vote hmm. uh, and Can't it's still it really high. It's forty. It's forty-two percent on the poll, mm. like way in front of everybody. But don't forget, it was seventy-six percent. Wow. On the last election. That's that's huge. It's a huge drop in yeah. approval. Um, that's that's crazy. Sorry, sorry. not seventy-six. It was it had seventy-six seat oh. at the national <laughs> assembly. <laughs> like on the hundred and twenty-five. Okay. So well, that's it's still a lot. huge. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's still like a big majority. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. And you're obviously following this very closely and y'all can follow Alexis coverage at QuebecElections.com. And there you can also donate to support her 100 percent viewer funded independent journalism. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to see what happens. Oh, I'm actually <laughs> scared. I know it will be really like. Could it be worse this. though, Alexa? How much worse could uh, it be? You might be moving here. Yeah. So we'll let's see. play yeah. a trailer yeah. from one of our new documentaries, Trucker Rebellion: The Part Convoy to Ottawa, which is a big part of it. Yeah. Let's watch. Let's do her. Back up, Thank you. We started off this convoy calling it "Taking Back Our Freedoms." But our freedoms are nobody's to take away. So we're going to restore everybody's freedoms. You know, lots of people came here wanting to only do a day. And uh, the word with all the truckers is they're now staying for many days you know like a lot of people now are planning on days and days in Ottawa so we are here to end the mandate. I am not leaving until we get what we want we're not going to give up I'm on lunch I could be on lunch a long long time That looks good. That looks intense. Yeah. Well, it was intense. Yeah. It was the most intense political movement I've in Canada that I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. I think the documentary is going to be great, y'all. Yeah, you remember. Yeah, she was there. Do you, though? Because you might have been concussed from being shot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but but I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I just close my eyes and I can feel like the the power and the energy that was were there. Um, that was something that I, all, like, I'm 36 and uh, I'm still young, but I never oh. saw that. I yeah. never saw that, like, no. in my life. And I did travel in so many countries. Mm-hmm. And that day, I saw something that I never see. 
Yeah, it's very powerful. Yeah. And I think the documentary is going to do a really good job at trying to relive that. So you guys make sure you subscribe to Rebel News Plus to watch it now. Mocha did a lot of work on it and it's going to be fantastic. So please subscribe. Eight bucks a month. RebelNewsPlus.com. Mm -hmm. Should we talk about um, how violence is journalists thought fault? Yeah. Did you know that when you got yeah. shot, Alexa, it was your fault? Apparently. Yes, probably. <laughs> So a conservative yeah, I, I candidate took believes myself this, apparently. The, the, the gun. I took myself the gun and I shot myself. I think so. <laughs> it's why it's my fault. <laughs> well, um, Alexa, conf I, think, I think we already talked about that conservative candidate in Quebec who said... Yeah, oh, yeah, yes, so, yes, um, yes, sorry. We passed okay. mostly uh, on Quebec yeah. uh, yes. and stuff. Um, just like the election would be like really something... Um, I... I'm actually thinking that maybe we would have like a really rise of the conservative party. So we'll, we'll see. It would be interesting to see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Well, then let's move on to more interesting let's violence. Move on. Um, <laughs> speech is apparently yes. violence. Specifically, I feel like this one yes, is violence. This one. <laughs> um, so we'll just play a clip and let y'all. And here, in my view, is what is true. MAGA Republicans do not respect the Constitution. They do not believe in the rule of law. They do not recognize the will of the people. They refuse to accept the results of a free election. And they're working right now, as I speak, in state after state, to give power to decide elections in America to partisans and cronies, empowering election deniers to undermine democracy itself. MAGA horses are determined to take this country backwards, backwards to an America where there is no right to choose, no right to privacy, no right to contraception, no right to marry who you love. They promote <laughs> authoritarian leaders and they fan the flames of political violence that are a threat to our personal rights, to the pursuit of justice, to the rule of law, to the very soul of this country. Is he describing Antifa? Oh my God. Um, yeah. he, he thinks that everyone has collective amnesia like he does. Like the, I, I the like Democrats, the fact that he say election denier. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like the Democrats spent four <laughs> years denying the results of the election. election. Not yeah. my, yeah, of 2016. Yeah. Not my president. They did everything they could. They tried, they impeached Trump. I'm with her. Yeah. And now mm. it's like he forgets all of that. Well, the the left likes to do that. They like to just conveniently leave things out so that. It I mean, of course, both parties are going to do that. Like, oh yeah, you're of gonna, course. But you see it more but on it's the left. So obvious. Yeah. It's like such a big one. It's such yeah. a huge. It's like the uh, the results of the election. You guys didn't accept them for four years, and now people are upset about Biden. It's the same thing. Yeah. It's the same thing. People don't like who they're like if you voted for the other guy and the other guy won you're gonna be mad and maybe you're Which gonna be fine. like not my president that's uh, that shouldn't be a problem like it's you, you that's your the president, point of a democracy exactly right? your yeah. president is who it is Unf like that's that's he's the president but it's just so ironic i can't wrap my head around it like how he doesn't no one was like maybe we cool it on that Topic specifically. I know, like who wrote this speech is what I want to know because yeah. it's one of the most divisive speeches we've heard from yeah. a politician in, I don't know, since yesterday in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> and like the choice of the red yeah. was an interesting choice. It's, it's just, it's, the, it's nightmare the vibes. The imagery. It's like hell. It is. Like, it reminds me of a certain German leader. Uh, oh, yeah, the one with H. Yes. yes. From okay. like the 1940s ish yeah. type era. Yeah, yeah really I have a tragic picture, time uh, in history. You know? Pardon? <laughs> I have a picture uh, at my place uh, from my grandparents. But of what? It's just because of... from the war. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. My, my grandfather left Germany because he was a Jew. Um, and it's like we we're just we're doing the same thing. Yeah, we're we're turning. You talk about like I saw Viva Frey say that if you yes. replace the words MAGA yeah. with any other race or religion, yeah. you would you would your eyes would be open. But because it's MAGA people, 
completely lacking now and it's because of divisive politicians like this mm -hmm. who point fingers at just hard-working middle-class people who sorry I guess they just like freedom a little more than they like you know vaccine passports and that's, that's stuff. another thing when he says they're they're um, supporting authoritarian leaders like are you talking about freedom loving Ron DeSantis yeah, yeah like it's Republicans who are pro small government and sure like you can say in in red states they want to reduce or ban abortion that's a fair that's a fair like call out but to say mm -hmm. like they're authoritarian like y well, democrats love big government and federal mandates coming from the top to the bottom but republicans generally are more like state like promoting so every state gets to make their choice and if you live in a red state maybe abortion is banned maybe you make the freedom of choice to, to move. move somewhere yeah, else where right. California exactly where you can make the choice to live how you want and it's just like when they called Trump an authoritarian for how many four years it was just so back it's just so backwards like you can call him conservative you can call him outrageous you can call them all sorts of things but authoritarian when you're literally trying to reduce the power of the federal government is mm -hmm. is wrong yeah he didn't implement a vaccine passport system in the united states i'm pretty sure that was president joe biden hello that's pretty as about as authoritarian as it gets people Jeez. like we've mentioned this before but thousands of people hundreds of thousands of people lost their jobs because of those mandates we've seen that up poorly reflected in canada as well it's tragic what what those have done to people so I don't think we can forget. Plus, we're not even allowed to visit the United States as unvaccinated Canadians yet, can we? No, I don't right. believe so. So it's like, how free can you be? How, like, uh, that's authoritarianism at like at its simplest, you know? Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Yeah, but for me, just <laughs> I I think I think is doing projection. Yeah, prob probably because our. You know, like we we did observe that with Trudeau, um, oh, because they don't follow my rule, they are not my people. Yeah, and yeah. I'm going to try to diabolize, try to completely destroy them, because they don't listen to me. So why yeah. I will fight for them, or why I would take the time to talk to them? Yeah, um, I think uh, I think we see it not only like in Canada, but probably like all couple of g7 country i would say hmm. now everything is related to g7 yeah it's so true this not just... being like a conspiracy theory. <laughs> no there's but definitely look a, like... your tinfoil hat <laughs> there's a, definitely a huge globalist agenda and i feel like they're spelling it out for us it's not like they're they're doing this in secret anymore it's pretty blatant um should we uh, throw to an ad Oh, and then we have a couple chats we'd love it's to such read. Such a good ad. Too. Like, oh, uh, maybe Alexa's wearing our sweater. So, so send her a hundred dollars, somebody. Now. <laughs> <laughs> arrival to the rebel news store yes f is for fidel and f is for father i mean could it be yes it half this photo the colored half is justin trudeau the black and white half is a young fidel castro wait now or is it vice versa it's so confusing well, i'm a huge forensic files fan wouldn't it be great if we could have piece of Justin's DNA and a piece of Fidel's DNA and put the rumor to bed once and for all. But in the meantime, we'll just have to walk around wearing this shirt, hinting at a great Canadian conspiracy. Or is it? 
In any event, if you want to get this shirt, folks, go to the Rebel News Store and check this out. Type in our new discount code that summer, S-U-M-M-E-R, and if you buy two unisex t-shirts, you get an additional one for free. What a deal. Like I said, Justin Trudeau, Fidel Castro, as they used to say on the ABC detergent ads, can you tell the difference? I can't tell the difference. I love him. I love oh him. Oh my gosh. He's a, he's a genuine <laughs> treasure. He is <gasps> Protect him at all costs. Yes. I am after his job, but yes. he's irreplaceable, so. <laughs> we want to host Rebel Roundup, but we're going to do it like Southern style. Yeah. With like actual lassos. And cowboy, and cowboy hats, hats and stuff. And he's going to hate it. And assless chaps. He will hate it, but we will make sure to bring up He's Patrick Brown and splicing and dicing yes. your genitals. Yes. So shout out to you, David Menzies. Anyway, <laughs> buy a shirt from the Rebel News Store. Who knows how long that promo is going to be going on for? Because guess what, guys? Unfortunately, summer's no. over. Shut your beautiful face. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's um, wrong. So That's use code SUMMER at checkout. Get two unisex shirts. Buy, uh, one, And again, you get one for free. So, Or you can be like those guys who wear khaki shorts all through the winter. There's always one. And yeah. that could be you. And then, of course... Buy misunderstood merch, I think, mm. is probably the real solution here. Our merch is designed exclusively by women for women and, and men. men. <laughs> <laughs> and look at how good Alexa looks wearing her oh, misunderstood man. sweater. Yeah. She looks it's fantastic. It's really cozy. And it's I like so, it. It's so cozy. Yes. I lost mine when I moved, <laughs> and it's honestly oh, no. the worst thing that's ever happened yeah. to me. She's been so cold ever since. My life has been very good. Um, okay, well, we have some <laughs> chats before we watch another clip of Joe Biden uniting the nation. Mm. Um, so this is uh, from Adam Ottawa. Thank you for your one dollar. Hello, lovely ladies of rubble. I wonder if JT will be serving in Tofino this Monday, Reconciliation Day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's Reconciliation Day. Make sure we is reconcile. It? Was that a year ago? I think no. so. Wasn't it Labor Day? I'm so confused. I give us more, love, give like, us more money, Adam, and explain like, it to us. Him, like, yeah. like, been catching him like on the wave like hey just intro <laughs> yeah like it would be like oh you're gonna my be God, on the surfboard again. next to him with a mic and be like <laughs> you're surfing a wave of tyranny trudeau <laughs> <laughs> and then he pushes you off your board yeah we need to get alexa a waterproof mic yeah yeah uh so yeah. please help cr us uh, be able to afford that mic by sending in your super chats y'all or rumble rants or whatever <laughs> the heck they're called this is from king 7734 this one's for you cat do you want to read this one i love that cat with your new hairstyle you've done the impossible you've managed to improve perfection <laughs> oh stop but the it. rest of us are just chopped liver <laughs> it's because side parts are coming back in style so i'm rocking it but thank you my god she is a 14 out of <laughs> 10. We all know. It's yes. And oh, thank you for know. your dollar. This is from Adam Ottawa. Thank you for your dollar. Uh, the CBC reported an unfortunate graffiti on a diversity mural in Pembroke. Some Karen concluded that since the vandal used a white substance, it is racist and therefore a hate crime. Trigger much? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Really? Seeing white. Oh, I, need, I need to do like pa I need paper. To that. Racist. <laughs> Our headphones are extremely racist, and yes. we should apologize. My night, my 2006 MacBook, racist. racist. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of racists, maybe we should uh, not that Joe Biden's not a racist, but he thinks we all are. Mm. Uh, maybe we should play another clip. And now, America must choose to move forward or to move backwards. To build a future or obsess about the past, to be a nation of hope and unity and optimism, mm -hmm. or a nation of fear, Sing it. division, and of darkness. MAGA Republicans have made their choice. They embrace anger. They thrive on chaos. They live not in the light of truth, but in the shadow of lies. <laughs> He's literally together, in the shadow of lies right now. Together, we can choose a different path. And now, America must choose to move forward. Why is he lumping all people who voted for Trump together? Like, mm. no one's a monolith. No, he, I don't understand how he can justify that. It well, just makes no sense. His brain is mush now. Well, I understand that. Yeah. And I, but I would say, like, I'm surprised they didn't fall asleep. But uh, please, <laughs> remove the microphone from his hand. Like, yeah. seriously. Someone uh, give him the hook. But... Probably in the past, it would be like a good, like, you know, 
uh, rapper, like doing some song, <laughs> like really uh, hate song. So mm. probably he's good at it. Yeah. So he's, he's just been listening to Eminem he's lately. He's as hateful as Andrew Tate. My goodness. Oh. Like honestly, which yeah. one is more hateful? Yeah, it's a toss up. We should like have a usually, poll. Send in your chats and tell us who you think is more hateful. <laughs> yeah, like a leader usually will we, we say we should work together, try to bring everybody together mm -hmm. instead of say, uh, of tapping on the shoulder of the mm -hmm. face of people who not like are yeah. doing correctly stuff. They he should more like try to unite yeah, the people, not like says being it. angry. Like he literally says in one sentence, like we need we need to unite and but not I be hate hateful. You. <laughs> but I hate everyone who's yeah. like. Those are completely <laughs> conflicting ideas, sir. But it's, again, his brain is. Mine. But it's not only embarrassing; it's just very sinister that politicians are allowed to talk to voters that way. People who pay their taxes, who yeah. pay his salary, it's just absolutely horrific and it just speaks to the fact that these people hate us they hate us and they don't care if we know it i don't think everyone hates us that much i think i mean maybe i think they hate it, conservative it ideas into though, it, as a whole but like, I like think the average human i don't think they have that much no. like the average democrat i don't believe has that much hate in their heart and maybe with more and more of this kind of vitriol being spewed they eventually will and it has grown over time but i don't believe that like, yeah. like I have hardcore Democrats in my family and liberals, they don't hate me. No, but they hate everything you believe in, though. Yeah. They do. And that actually <laughs> they does do. There's no politics they... at the dinner table in my family. Right. And I think that that is insane. Like, yeah. just to hate people for what they believe, unless what they believe is evil, then well, maybe we they don't think. need... They, con they convince themselves exactly. that... Like not wanting to get vaccinated is evil. Like, and I can. They, there's an argument. You think they think you're killing people, and right. I'm gonna stop myself right there. We're on, YouTube. We're on YouTube. Yeah, the vaccine right. is safe and effective, and it's time for all of you watching on YouTube Roll to get your, your boosters. Please go get your boosters, or else. Okay, let's okay. move on. So, a vast majority of Canadians want digital IDs, claims this government webcast. <laughs> what? Yeah. This is not true. Well, so I read the article, um, and they say that they specify that m the vast majority of Canadians want a digital app that will make, like it says right there, uh, a vast majority of Canadians want digital identities to access government services. So... I feel like they're conflating things when they right. say like, oh, they want digital IDs, meaning like you can't get a bank loan if you're not vaccinated or if you say the wrong thing on Twitter. Like social I, credit. Yeah, they're conflating that idea with if you ask someone, it's like, would you like to be able to update your passport online through an app? It's like, sure. Yeah. The, and they're like, oh, check for digital ID. It's like they're conflating two very different ideas. Like yes. most people would very like to never have to go to Service Ontario or Service Sorry. Canada again. Yeah, Ouch. <laughs> I just slapped her with a pen because I hate digital IDs so much. I will be suing. Much. Um, um, but it's, uh, it's 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 coming m way more faster in Quebec. I don't know if you saw, but they say 2022-23, most of Canadians will have their. They call it a numerical identity, mm -hmm. like uh, identity mm -hmm. numérique, but it's actually digital identity. But um, they say that now it, it's on the voluntary base, as they say. Uh, but when you will get arrested, you can show your proof of um, identity with like your digital identity. If you need to go to a bank or anything, they would, you can use all of this uh, to prove uh, you, who you are. Hey, they, they say that it's safe, private, uh, mm, personal sure. and Unhackable, unique. Unhackable, uh, even right. though like but people's vaccine I, passports were hacked. Yeah, it's fine. I, I think, unfortunately, that will go like uh, more fast than we think. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you remember, but Quebec have not like a good history for, um, you know, the um, information on the cloud, I will say, like mm -hmm. uh, numerical like uh, information. I don't know if you know, but our bank was like, um, was uh, hacked. A lot of uh, things was hacked in Quebec, like in... Uh, no, of the numeric numeric aside but so i'm just thinking like oh they will make sure that everybody are safe with that digital identity that that their information would be not act or sell to other like country as china 
or I don't know like what can happen with these really important information and this is really confidential so my point of view is like we have a really bad story on like keeping data safe mm-hmm. so how will we prove to the population that you're okay you are safe with your data Finally there. now. Yeah. It's going to be different yeah, this time. This time. Yeah. A bunch of like bureaucrats are definitely going to like figure out how to make an unhackable app. Of course. That no like <laughs> Russian teenager can get into in 15 minutes. Yeah. It's okay. going to be great. I think I trust the Canadian yeah. government to do that. It's going to be great. Me guys. too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I do too. I'm super excited for my digital ID. I will be downloading. Mm-hmm. Because it's safe and effective. It's safe and effective. <laughs> like it's the so vaccine. It safe is and safe effective. and effective. <laughs> Can you say that a little more convincing- convincingly, please? <laughs> no, I cannot. Uh, alrighty. So, uh, sounds fun. Throw out your iPhones. <laughs> um, Canada's climate targets can be achieved by consuming fewer animal products. I love how they uh-huh. put a picture of the cows here. And the cows are like, please. <laughs> but what about <laughs> bugs? Some people us. have pet bugs. Ew. Oh. Okay, so as you know, um, recently a um, new app, you know, for not wasting food in Quebec just appeared. It's called uh, Food Hero. It's an app, okay? And so for EJR Metro, it's like a nice like app. So you go there and you save like 50% of like meat or produce that will like probably be waste in a couple of days. So this is actually a good yeah, app. Yeah, that sounds good. So people will say yes, but in the app, they calculate your carbon footprint on every item that you oh, are buying. Right. You've <gasps> mentioned this. That is so bad. Why are yeah. you shaming people for eating? Yeah, like yeah. we literally need to. What we are you, my <laughs> thighs? Yeah. Like, give me it's a so break. True. Yeah, you, I don't mom. know. <laughs> When you click on one in ten, they send you to like the impact on environment, and they say like, okay, this is how many like carbon footprint that you are, and on your basket they calculate all your produce, and at the end you can know like how much you have like in your basket, or, like how much uh, carbon footprint you are using. So I'm just that bring me to the credit card in uh, Sweden that when you reach your target of uh, carbon footprint, your limit of it, the credit card stop to work. So Safe. me, it's just like, do they do that for the future? Because probably we'll have like a credit card and afterwards we will like be limited on our carbon footprint um, on oh, our yeah. food. And I think this is actually kind of dangerous. Um, a lot of people will say, but no, but that's good. Um, so that good, no no problem. Like they say that it's perfect to reduce the food waste. But yes, it's good. It's good. But in the same time, you use that as a tool to kind of track the carbon yeah, footprint of harvest. the people. And it's like, it's like normalizing and preparing us to just have our credit cards. Like, oh, I did the wrong thing. So my yeah. credit card doesn't work now. Like your credit card should only not work if it's expired or if you overspent. Both mm-hmm. of which I have experienced. Not fun, but it's not the government telling you that you did the wrong thing. It's so messed up. And like, Alexa, you're right. Like to have food that's going to be wasted and to sell that to people directly. Great idea. But why do you have to slide in this sneaky little addition? It's actually a shame. Yeah, because now Ooh. it's like you're making something good bad. Yeah. Why do you have to do that? Just why can't we just save does. food? You're trying to save you, food. And, and then and you're you adding know, like this thing. the fun fact. It, they are calculated on everything. Like they don't have fruit or veg on that app. It's all on meat or bakery or like and but Not and patisserie. for chicken <laughs> or fish. But it mostly protein meal, m- meat protein that is on it. Oh, and goodness. I'm just like, oh, but which good option, huh? And yeah. after that, you need to enter your credit card information to buy it. So. Of course, like that credit card will have been linked on your carbon footprint like information. <sighs> of course, this is just, I just, I don't even, like, I just, I just, I, I love milk and cheese and meat. And meat. Like, Sorry. Some people <laughs> physically need meat. Yes. Like they physically will get sick My brother or die. is on the carnivore diet and he has 
a bunch of autoimmune disorders and he literally only he's just like Michaela Peterson for some people with a bunch of disorders it works it works for me I like a little variety me too because my body can tolerate it my brother mm -hmm. had a stroke at eight he has oh a gosh. bunch of multiple like he has MS he has all sorts of things and he, he like if you saw him today he looks like a Greek statue because he only eats meat right and mm -hmm. it works for him and if you were to say oh sorry Catherine's brother you can only eat like soy carrots carrots and larva butter he would be very sick or die or die like why do like, they want to kill people? why are they trying to kill my brother that's super rude i'm offended yeah i i just i just think like god gave us these foods to eat our bodies need them they need certain nutrients you can supplement it in certain ways but it's just not sustainable like we need we need a variety of food and, and, I, and i'm all for like humane farming oh a thousand percent i like, only buy from a humane butcher that's amazing yeah yeah see if i go to mcdonald's which i don't anymore because of the dye that we talked about last week with or two weeks ago with alexa how they're dying the bug the meat brown mm -hmm. the bugs, so yeah I don't eat there anymore but i like i'll i unfortunately do eat processed factory meats and it makes me sad but like i ideally I would like to practice what I preach and eat like only humane meat. And that's something I'm going to work on personally. But like there are ways to do that. Absolutely. Like a cow in a pasture that has a good life. And then you give it one and bad you moment. And you slaughter him. <laughs> you but it's like a great life and then a bad moment. Yeah. And then people eat he healthy meat. And we're mm -hmm. happy doing it. Yeah. Happy cow. Happy Catherine. Exactly. <laughs> but I think like that is true that we need to have like a better treatment for. Yes animal yeah. like this is actually something that we care about for mm -hmm. years and mm -hmm. but if we we talk about that since how many like decades and nothing have changed for some some yes but it's it's it should be the the grocery to encourage place that we treat well mm -hmm. the animal mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so, and it's so where point. is the problem yeah where is the problem at the end if the animal is getting well tree and 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 they have like a good life and at the end like they've been killed a good way like not a, to be like, to suffer mm -hmm. at the end of the day i think like it's proper but the only thing is like the the grocery didn't see the difference they will buy the cheaper yeah, uh, deal and so they can have like a better Profit, profit on the yeah. ATM, and after that they sell it to people. But mm. it should not be like that. It should be like more like the grocery. I would encourage you. I would just buy from uh, more some produce. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So practice it's, what it's, you preach. Yeah, grocery stores. and like, and not to sound like a hippie, but let's really? think holistically. Like, if someone like my brother can only eat meat, maybe I could be like, well, I don't need to eat meat every meal like that could be a choice i make and be mm -hmm. like when i eat meat i buy it humanely where and i can save because there's not a like mass producing meat is going to make more of it obviously so maybe i could be like i know someone who can only eat meat so maybe i am like i'll eat more vegetables just to make sure that the humane meat can go to people who need like obviously no one has to do that i'm just thinking like if you wanted to if you wanted to take things into your own hands and be an environmentalist without eating soy cake cakes you can do that. You can be like, I'm going to reduce my meat to only humane meat and make sure that people who need the meat can get it and et cetera. Like, again, not to sound mm -hmm. like a hippie. You do. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat meat. But it's just like, let's let's be humane about it. And yeah. I, we care about animals. And yeah, we're called to steward the earth. And part of that is the animals. Mm -hmm. They're part of this. And we but need I to treat them But I still want respect. to eat them. Yes, me too. I I really want I steak have right to. now. I'm starving. I'm so hungry for steak. And turkeys are ugly. Please weird. send a super chat or a rumble <laughs> rant or whatever to buy us a steak. Yes. Um, we will personally thank you while we're eating it in a <laughs> video. <laughs> anyway, I think we have a couple more chats. Yay. And then we can um, wrap things up here because we got about seven minutes left. Do you want to take this one away, somebody? Alexa. Oh, Georgie, Georgie. Georgie, Georgie. One dollar is... You have a song in French, uh, Georgie, Georgie, just for Latino. We'll um, I'm so happy I never fell for the hateful propaganda ever while I am by the narrative account immunocompromised. Immuno yeah. yeah. Good for it's you. It's a word that I'm not using too much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big word. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you for your dollar as well. Yeah. Thank we you. Got and one we wish more you good here. health. Yes. Do you want to? Adam Sure. Adam Ottawa, thank you again, sir. 
Uh, TVO, Ontario's state-sponsored public TV channel, had an entire episode last night about the future of laboratory-made food. <laughs> it's based on the WEF and climate change. It was disturbing. Well, I can only imagine. Yeah. Yes, that reading that sentence must have been disturbing. Yes. Hearing it was. Good for you for watching it so the rest of us didn't have to. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank yeah. you doing the but Lord's work. <laughs> the, WEF, the WEF is, is, is now everywhere. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's disturbing to see, like, you how much like they, <laughs> yeah and and the thing is like what they were t talking about two years ago it's now a reality and there's mm -hmm. always take like two time to probably put everything in place to be ready to do to do it but like they were talking about uh changing insect for our meal like they started to talk about this like maybe in 2018 or something like that and now it's like really well integrated it's on our life it's like mm -hmm. full-blown mainstream you see it everywhere now i every time i go on twitter i see something about eating bugs yeah like you just can't ignore it it's mm -hmm. gross yeah yeah but mainstream keep continuing that saying that uh talking about the web it's, it's, it's just a conspiracy theory yeah. but that this is not no this no. is actually not no, she's happening, folks. Mm -hmm. That great reset. She gonna reset us all. <laughs> so don't eat your bugs. Buy steak. Yeah. Invest in cow. Invest in local businesses, you yeah. know. Buy your from your butcher. Yes. Okay? Yes. yes. And small farm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Farm exactly. fresh, cage free. Love that. Love that. We're doing a great marketing campaign for farmers. Yes. All right, I think we can talk about one more thing here before Ooh, we wrap Kanye things West, up. Kanye West. Let's talk about Kanye West, y'all. He's calling Yay. out them globalists, them alleged globalists. Um, <laughs> Kanye West, I have an addiction to porn and it destroyed my family. Um, but he took to, I think it was Twitter, right? Was it, was it Instagram? Uh, I think it was I think Instagram. It was Instagram. And he went off last night. Yeah. Um, so we can just read a quote here. He said, don't let Chris make you do Playboy like she made Kylie and Kim do. He began in an Instagram post on Thursday addressing Victoria someone someone, Kylie Jenner's former assistant. Hollywood is a giant brothel. Pornography destroyed my family. I deal with the addiction. Instagram promotes it. Not gonna let it happen to Northy and Chicago, he continued. Mm -hmm. um, so he, so again, we don't need to get into the whole drama he's having drama with his ex-wife kim kardashian but he's been pretty silent recently um and in the midst of her breakup with uh, pete davidson i guess he's feeling a little emboldened and there's some stuff going on where he, they he wants to move his kids to another school anyways the point is is that he's calling out what we all already knew which is that the kardashian clan got famous off of pornography basically exploiting themselves. exploiting their bodies and it's something that is incredibly promoted by not just the mainstream media not just instagram but that family in particular mm -hmm. and it's so normalized now you go on instagram and you just see butts Everywhere. like i see butts i'm like i'm a yeah. female I'm a I don't pregnant woman like why do i want to look at butts i don't like i don't, don't want to look You're but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter they, they just think it's because it's so normalized and young women are going on there and are and are like we Nat and I just before we came out we were playing with some filters on Instagram mm -hmm. and we were like oh my god are we hideous in real life because of how much those things change you and make like it makes your nose tiny and your lips it makes big. you perfect it makes you perfect and it's just and it gives you this like sexy pouty mouth and it's like why is everything so hypersexualized and it's all targeted towards children and in a roundabout way that's kind of what kanye west is addressing here and he's not he doesn't want to let it happen to his children because he's a christian well especially because porn is an addiction right and it yeah. overtakes your entire life and it it ruins marriages it ruins families and he's like opening up about how he suffered with that and it clearly is something that implicated his own marriage to kim kardashian mm -hmm. so it's just it's important that people are coming out talking about it because the industry is just it's filthy and it's, it's filthy. gross and it takes advantage of both men and women and it's exploitative and it just down with Pornhub petition. Yeah. yeah. Well, they also are but like, yeah. Everybody have a addiction at certain level, but mm -hmm. for coffee. like different, different stuff. Decaf. Some people some would be the coffee. Worse. That's all. Some people would be pornography. Some yeah. people would be the food. Some people would be like the drugs. Mm -hmm. Some uh, would be um alcohol um yeah. some people would be uh cleaning some people is like cleaning all the yeah, time like ocd yeah so, yeah, yeah some i just think your addiction shouldn't hurt 
other, other people. people. Yeah. So if your addiction is to pornography and it's literally harming young girls, not just by thinking that they have to live up to a standard, but by like human trafficking. And the actual people, yeah, the, the actual people, cast members, yeah. some of them are victims of, um, like you were just saying, human trafficking and assault and rape mm -hmm. and all those mm -hmm. things. And then mm -hmm. of course you're hurting your wife, your yeah. spouse, if you're a yeah. man watching it or vice versa, of course. Yeah, I mean, yeah. There's a everyone has an addiction. You're absolutely right, Alexa. But it's just I'm glad that this someone one is, is like, mm. yeah, yeah. I'm just glad someone's like, calling it out. Yeah, and yeah. leave it to Kanye West. Speak the truth. But a lot yes. of people have that addiction, but nobody is talking about it yeah. because yeah. it's a taboo subject. Yep. Yeah, because it's so normalized. And it's, it's glorified yeah. in our society. Mm -hmm. Arguably, they everyone just thinks it's so casual, but it's it's not. Yeah. It's, no, sorry, it's it's grotesque. Yes. <laughs> so that's nice. Um, that's a great way to end things. I you think. people make me sick, not you uh, guys. Do we have, I don't think we have any more chats. I think we're good to go. Really? We? Even after talking about pornography? No, I think we really, everyone For $100, just left. Nat. <laughs> <laughs> I will, nothing. Um, anyway, thank you all for tuning in to the Rebel News Daily live stream, which airs weekdays. Uh, on Rumble, Getter, YouTube, Odyssey. And now we're doing a little pre-show on Instagram, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe. So tune in on Instagram if you want to check out a fun little preview. Thank you guys both for joining me today. My pleasure, Captain. You rock. Yeah. yeah. Any closing thoughts, Alexa? Uh, thanks for everybody to sh showing up. And uh, we are there all the time on Friday. So uh, I'm always like happy to share the screen with these two lovely girls. It's true. We are a, a triangle of beauty and wisdom and hope and hope for the world. <laughs> yeah. And pink. Okay. Maybe <laughs> one day we do like all together in the same no, studio. Yes, Let's please. go to Fiji and yes. do it live from Fiji. Send in your chats and donate Help. to our trip to Fiji. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> or send e-transfers. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we can put the background in the Yes, back. fine. More I more mean, like, likely. Oh, Not my favorite idea we've ever had, but yes, sure. Yeah, we can fine. We can try that. Whatever. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, we'll stop talking now. Thank you all for tuning in. Remember, we're not doing a live stream on Monday because it's Labor Day. We're going to go uh, reconcile like Trudeau and Tofino. Yeah. So we'll see you all there. Bring your surfboards. <laughs> Peace yes. out. Various vaccine protection is like a phone battery. It needs to be recharged from time to time. Recharging our protection after six months is important. Otherwise, we are left without the power to protect ourselves and our loved ones. Getting everyone caught up with a vaccination is a top priority. This is not only for true for COVID-19 vaccinations, but also for routine vaccinations for all children and adults. Merci. Thank you. Miigwech.